I, I had a sense that if I stuck with a fairy tale, something that was like hundreds of years old, maybe even thousands of years old, um, that I really couldn't go wrong and, and make the characters real. I, I, I don't like having other people direct my stuff generally. Um, and having those experiences sort of led me here. I just didn't give up the script. I said I wanted to do it. And there were enough people who wanted to do it that made it uh, possible for me to, to get to direct this picture. In this case, uh, you know, I've always believed that the writer-director is the key. Uh, if you can uh, get a material that reflects a, a real personal vision, uh, I would bank on that vision. Uh, that's what makes uh, interesting movies. Not necessarily the most commercial movies, but sometimes the, the more interesting ones. When I read Matthew Bright's script, it didn't take me 10 seconds. I just thought, this has to be done. I think it's just a powerful movie that it deals with the streets and what's going on now, and we don't know that. You know, it's a slice of life that is done in an entertaining way because they're so brash and irreverent. These girls, you know, really the problems that young people have in in, in our society that they cannot, without proper parenting, they, they they get lost in the system. It's one of the few films I've seen where it really just shows, you know, a reform school or what it's like to be in the system. Reese Witherspoon is amazing. I've never seen, uh, it's almost like she lives inside that character and she's become this tough little street urchin. And uh, my God, uh, the, things, the things she says would, would have been shocking to my father, but they're, they're shocking to me. So, and, I, and I guess I make films that are known for some shocks, but I, I was shocked. The movie you know, is driven more by dialogue and wit than it is by special effects, but he's got character, he understands it. He's not a young 25-year-old director either. He's a man who's lived a life, and he's, he's put a lot of his own life and thinking into this movie. Uh, but he has the mind of a young man, and he's irreverent, and uh, he's one of the funniest human beings I know. It's a comedy, you know, and I hope people understand that it's a dark comedy, and that's the, the style of it. You know, people who will get upset at this movie will be upset because they don't laugh. They have no sense of humor. nature of this crime, I think of the defendant's obvious lack of remorse. The state moves that Vanessa Julia Lutz stand trial as an adult. She is charged with a gruesome crime. Cholo bitch, my hand is whack, and we're gonna take it right across the nice back of that here. So you can know. Yeah, because the whistle like causes the attack. Okay. 
Action. Whistle, whistle. Skipper, Mr. God beat me with the ugly stick. Get your fucking face out of my eyes. Skipper's okay. Producer Brad. Skipper Doll. When you need Peter. Uh, okay. 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 Okay